especially now that I'm here in Los Angeles and you just kind of see, and my grandfather even said this, no matter what business you think you're in, you're in sales. Yeah. No matter if you're trying to inspire somebody, if you're trying to like get money from them, if you're trying to give money to them, you're in sales. No matter if it's art, no matter if it's a product, no matter if it, or like a, you know, a, con, a consumable. And at the end of the day, what are you selling? You're selling your experience. I think the negative version, the negative spin of that is you're selling yourself. Yeah. That's the negative spin. You know, it sounds like, it sounds like once you sell a part of yourself, you don't have that part of yourself anymore. Right. That's what it sounds like. So it sounds like you're diminishing yourself constantly. But that's not what it is. I do think to be an effective content producer and seller, I think you unfortunately have to streamline it a lot more than people are prepared to do. Yeah. That's the next like big pill that you have to swallow. Can't just like, I, I'm more guilty of this than most people I know, which being like, I want to put this out and I want to put this out. I want this out. I want to put this out. And it's all going to be under my name. Yeah. You know, and, and, and somebody would be like, but yeah, maybe you should just focus on one of those. And I'd be like, well, this is me. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. It's like, well, nobody's well, fucking, find it. yeah, like find nobody's it. taking it. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, yeah, right. If somebody's going to find it, like they're going to find it. But, I, but, but now I know like you're doing your audience a favor by streamlining your product and your brand. Yeah. Because you're making it easier for them to get through the bullshit and see it. And I had this conversation with a friend of mine named Travis. We were talking about lessons and I was telling him at the time that I knew a guy who who needed like more music teachers. It was a school that I was working for at the time. They needed more music teachers. And I told Travis about it. He, he's, a, he's a bassoonist. And I told him, I was like, hey man, you know, if you want to get in on this – you're welcome. And he was like, do, do they have bassoon students? And I was like, well, no, because it's bassoon and it's for children. I was like, but you play piano, right? And he was like, yeah, I had to because of school. I was like, right. So you can teach beginner piano. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you know, do you, do you play other reed instruments? Do you play clarinet? Do you play saxophone? That's what kids are playing. And he was like, well, yeah, of course I can play those instruments. I was like, then you need to be teaching this. And then he said to me, he was like, he was like, don't you think that that's like, gross don't you think that you're like pulling one over on them i was like travis tell me what you like about teaching yeah and and it didn't matter what he was going to say because the answer was going to be the same he was like well i really like having a student consistently and being able to impact their lives through music and i said wow like we'll i bet you sleep so well at night. <laughs> like, but the answer to that is the same as if he had said like i just care about that cold hard cash yeah do you think you can offer a better service for a better price than random guy playing piano? Yeah. And he was like, a thousand percent. I was like, so why aren't you giving yourself the best opportunity to get in there and like uh, affect these kids the yeah. way that you think that you should, you know? And he was like, well, I never really thought about it that way. I was like, yeah, I mean, if that's truly what you're after, yeah. why wouldn't you do everything to put yourself in that position? Yeah. And I think, and I think the the like in that situation, I was proposing to him like, "Hey, you want to do something simple? Why not have a complex system of a billion different ways to do that thing?" But the flip side is true about content, right? Like, if if you have one piece of content that you really really care about, rather than have a a billion complex ways for somebody to find it, just make it simple. You know yeah. what I mean? Just make yeah. it concise. Yeah. Normal people don't consume complex content. I love complex things and I don't consume complex content. Yeah. And by complex, I mean like content that it's hard to get at the root of. Yeah. Um, but the, you know, the best stories that are told are concise stories. You know, they're not these giant, you know, tales with an A plot, a B plot, a C plot, a D plot, a D plot, a D plot. You know what I mean? Yeah. 